Hammerhead worms, scientifically known as Bipallium species pluralis, are a subgroup of flatworms belonging to the Geoplanidae family. These worms are commonly identified by their distinctive hammer-shaped heads, which set them apart in the realm of invertebrates. Their peculiar appearance is a key feature of our exploration today. These extraordinary creatures exhibit a host of unique characteristics. Their bodies are flattened and ribbon-like, enabling them to move by smoothly gliding on a mucus-covered epidermis. This unique locomotion mechanism distinguishes them from other invertebrates. Hammerhead worms come in a wide range of sizes, with some species reaching lengths exceeding a foot. Furthermore, their coloration can vary significantly, encompassing shades of dark gray, brown, and even striking hues of red, depending on the species and the environmental conditions in which they are found. The study of hammerhead worms holds a special place in the realm of biology and ecology. By delving into these creatures, we gain insights into their remarkable features and predatory behaviors. More importantly, this study unveils their profound ecological significance in various ecosystems. Physical Characteristics The hammer-shaped head is undeniably the most captivating feature of hammerhead worms. This head is equipped with sensory organs, most notably eye spots, which allow these worms to detect light and movement in their surroundings. This sensory adaptation enhances their ability to locate prey and navigate their environment. The flat and ribbon-like body structure of these worms is tailored for efficient movement. Their epidermis secretes a slimy mucus that not only aids in locomotion, but also provides a layer of protection. Through the rhythmic contractions of their muscles, they exhibit a graceful gliding movement movement that is both intriguing and distinctive. Hammerhead worms span a broad spectrum of sizes, and some species can grow impressively long, with a select few exceeding a foot in length. This variability in size is a testament to their adaptability and diversity. Their coloration, as mentioned earlier, can range from subdued tones of dark gray and brown to striking red hues, often reflecting the specific species and the environment they inhabit. Habitat and Distribution The habitats in which hammerhead worms can be encountered are as diverse as the worms themselves. They are particularly drawn to moist and shaded areas, where they are less exposed to the desiccating effects of direct sunlight. These creatures are frequently found beneath objects like leaf litter, rocks, and within the forest floor, providing them with the perfect conditions to thrive. Their affinity for moist and shaded environments is not arbitrary, but is driven by their vulnerability to desiccation. Direct exposure to sunlight can lead to dehydration and ultimately threaten their survival. Therefore, they seek refuge in areas where humidity and shade are abundant. The distribution of hammerhead worms is noteworthy for its diversity. Various species of these worms have adapted to different regions and continents, resulting in a global presence. Their ability to thrive in a wide array of environments underscores their resilience and adaptability as a group of invertebrates. Feeding and Predatory Behavior Hammerhead worms are carnivorous predators, preying upon smaller invertebrates such as snails, slugs, and earthworms. Their diet primarily consists of these soft-bodied organisms, and they use a specialized mucus to immobilize their prey. The predatory behavior of these worms is a captivating subject of study. They employ a patient and deliberate approach when capturing their prey. Using their hammer-shaped head, they gently trap and immobilize their victims, all while secreting a mucus that contains digestive enzymes. This mucus doesn't just immobilize prey, but also initiates the digestion process before ingestion, exemplifying their unique predatory strategies. What's particularly remarkable is their feeding mechanism. The digestive mucus not only helps in predation, but also facilitates nutrient absorption, making their feeding process highly efficient and distinct within the animal kingdom. Reproduction and Life Cycle Hammerhead worms employ various reproductive strategies. While sexual reproduction is a part of their life cycle, asexual reproduction is particularly fascinating. These creatures can regenerate from a mere fragment of their body, which showcases their remarkable regenerative abilities. The life cycle of hammerhead worms is a multi-stage process. It typically involves stages such as eggs, 
juveniles, and adults, with each stage exhibiting its own set of characteristics and adaptations. The development of these stages varies among species, contributing to the complexity of their life cycle. The lifespan of these worms is not uniform and varies depending on the species and environmental conditions. Some can live several years under suitable conditions. Their reproductive patterns are closely tied to factors such as the availability of food and specific environmental cues. Ecological Impact Hammerhead worms play a pivotal ecological role within their respective habitats. By preying on small invertebrates, they serve as natural regulators of their populations. This control has far-reaching consequences in the broader ecosystem, affecting the balance of various species within the food web. The interactions of hammerhead worms extend beyond predation. They also serve as a food source for other creatures, like birds and certain beetles. These interactions create intricate ecological relationships that shape the dynamics of their ecosystems and highlight their significance within the natural world. Adaptations for Survival Hammerhead worms have developed a remarkable set of adaptations to ensure their survival in diverse and often challenging environments. Their flattened body and slimy epidermis, for example, enable them to glide gracefully and efficiently. This adaptation not only aids in their movement, but also serves as a protective layer against desiccation, helping them retain moisture. The hammer-shaped head, which is their namesake, is an evolutionary marvel. This specialized head allows them to efficiently capture prey, immobilizing it using a gentle yet firm grip. The head is also a sensory hub, housing eye spots that detect changes in light intensity and motion, giving them an edge in hunting. In addition to their predation capabilities, hammerhead worms have evolved mechanisms to avoid being prey themselves. Their preference for moist and shaded habitats minimizes their exposure to potential threats. When disturbed or threatened, they may secrete defensive chemicals to deter predators. Sensory Perception The sensory organs, or eye spots, on the hammer-shaped head are a critical aspect of their biology. These eye spots, or ocelli, are sensitive to changes in light and motion. They allow hammerhead worms to detect both the presence of potential prey and avoid potential threats. Elaborate on how these eye spots work. These simple but effective sensory structures can distinguish between light and dark, helping the worms navigate their environment. They also react to movement, providing a rudimentary but essential form of perception. The presence of these sensory organs gives hammerhead worms a significant advantage in hunting. Their ability to locate prey, even in low light conditions, contributes to their successful predatory behavior. Challenges and Threats While they possess an array of adaptations, hammerhead worms are not immune to challenges and threats. Habitat loss due to human activities, changes in climate, and the introduction of non-native species can disrupt their ecosystems. These changes can limit their access to suitable habitats and prey. While hammerhead worms are effective predators, they are not without their own predators. Birds, beetles, and other invertebrates may feed on them, posing a threat to their populations. The vulnerability of these worms to desiccation makes them susceptible to climate change. As temperatures rise and humidity levels fluctuate, they face increasing risks of drying out, which can affect their survival. Ethical Considerations in Studying Hammerhead Worms When studying and researching the intriguing world of hammerhead worms, it's essential to consider the ethical implications and responsibilities that come with such investigations. This heading delves into the ethical considerations associated with the study of these unique creatures. As with any scientific inquiry involving living organisms, respecting the lives of these worms is paramount. Researchers and enthusiasts must exercise a deep sense of responsibility, ensuring that their activities do not harm or disrupt the natural behaviors and populations of hammerhead worms. Ethical research practices involve minimizing any adverse impact on these organisms. A critical ethical aspect is the preservation of their habitats. Human activities can significantly affect the environments where hammerhead worms are found. Scientists and conservationists must work to safeguard these areas to ensure the long-term survival of these worms and the ecosystems they inhabit. While the concept of informed consent is typically associated with human research, it is still relevant in the context of animal studies. When handling these creatures, ethical researchers aim to minimize stress and harm, ensuring that any manipulations are carried out with care and consideration. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.